folks, we're back with that repair video I promised. All the repairs that I've done from last week. You saw them. Everything in need. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey, thanks guys. Check it out. Here's everything we talked about that got broken shipping or things around the house that were piling up that I needed to fix. Now, if anybody recalls the blue willow that we picked up at an estate sale, there was a couple of those with a mouse bite. <laughs> Let's look at those, if you will. This mouse bite was right on and over the edge. Now the blue is really tough on this and getting those little checks. But this is, you know, the little dessert bowl in the Churchill from England, Blue Willow. Okay, not a bad repair though. Check out the back too. It went all over to the back. Not bad. All righty. Here's the bigger one. I think this come out even better. I gotta hunt it down to find it. Here it is. This is where it was on the edge. Okay, and the back. And this was a bigger mouse bite out of this one. But look at this now. You'd be proud to have that on your table. Nobody's going to really worry about it and probably can't even find it. So there's your two Churchill Blue Willow. Let's take a look at the Bell telephone truck that I showed you. Now, I, I just love this. This is an early, early toy and I got it in a state sale, if, if you remember or not. I, I don't think I've showed this yet. It was broke and tweaked. So I fixed this with the uh, epoxy, metal epoxy, okay? And you, you can see in the video, Angelo will pull it up, the before and here's the after. Okay, so I just also didn't want to paint the whole thing. I wanted it in its, with its original wear and patina. Okay, it's almost in a little chippy kind of form here. Just loved it. Got that for 15 bucks. It was damaged. Like I say, I fixed it up. Touched up, painted. You can see now. All righty. Now we had a couple of things for years and years that had all the gold lost, you know. Again, here's a look at before, and then here's my repair after. So also this had a mouse bite along the edge. Okay, so I repaired that mouse bite and I put the gold back on the rim and the handle. That's so much prettier now again. Back to its cutie Art Deco brilliant form. <laughs> okay, now the same thing I had with this Bavarian piece. The gold was all missing off the lip edge and the handle where it originally was, you know, when it was made. And yes, some people like shabby. I like shabby, but I like elegant too. So to maintain its original integrity, all I did was put the gold back like it was originally. 
I think you'll agree that it looks a lot better now after the fix. Here's another one. You guys saw this. And I know Angela's going to pull it up because we just used this in the big table. And I felt so bad I didn't fix it before, but you know, I've been compiling things to do a different video. So if I did every little thing, I wouldn't have anything to do a whole video like this one, you know. So here's that gorgeous Bavarian Victorian serving bowl with the handle. It's just incredible to me. This was an eBay find and it was up for bids and I bid on it and oh man, nobody bid on it and I got this. It was incredible. It's almost embarrassing. I think I got this for $15 a couple years ago. I'm nuts about it and every time I use it, everybody comments on how good it is. The gold was all gone. However, I put that back around the edge and on that beautiful acanthus handle that sweeps down to the bottom all the way around, put it back and I love it even more now. Anything this elegant shouldn't look shabby in my mind. All right. Ruth, you've been chomping at the bit <laughs> to see your pieces. I know, your grandmother's beautiful pieces in the Indian tree pattern, okay, by Spode. Now, let me see if I can find the repair. Yes, what gives it away, because this had a mouse bite, okay, on the edge. And honestly, it's at the top of the plate. Okay, I'm going to let you try to find it, and then we'll have the close-up. The only way you can tell that this had a problem at all is that the little strip in the Greek key pattern was really tough. I think I used a brush that had three hairs on it, okay, to try to put that back. And I did mostly get it back. Did the band in gold first, then put the little keys back in. That's the only way you can tell this had a problem at all. I'm telling you, I'm really super proud, can you tell, <laughs> of this one. You cannot even find the repair. I fixed it and I can't find it. <laughs> really happy with that one. Now here's a little jewel. This we've had for years and years. It's just a misfit Demitas cup from a Bavarian cocoa pot set that, you know, we picked up because it was pretty and it was reasonable, you know. Then it got over the years with children, a ding in the lip. And I mean, there was a, a mouse bite missing in that gold rim, okay? So I always set it on the shelf like this with the minor side showing. Now with the repair, I can put it on the shelf with the major side showing. You see the difference. This came out really good too. Try to find it. Just loving that. Now to our good friends, the Beals, that sent the wonderful Cobalt Blue Oriental in the Fine Bone China coffee cup saucers, dessert bowls, berry bowls, and 
under saucer plates that we lost uh, five pieces were smashed beyond even me fixing them okay but I am so happy <coughs> Elizabeth and Edwin you thought I forgot your name no I don't and I don't have it written on my arm like a kid in school either <laughs> I make a point to try to remember everybody that bothers to be here, okay? So, here is your teacup and saucer with the repaired handle. And we'll show you that close up. You remember the whole bottom of the handle from the center down was missed missing and broke off. I had the piece. Check it out. And I love when I do a project and then Angela comes home and I show her what I've done. She just shakes her head, couldn't get over it. And she's looking at it like this close. You know what I mean? She's looking at it like this, like you don't get to, but she said, I can't even believe it. It, did, it doesn't look like it was ever broke. That's what I like to do. So here's that. Ultra cute. Okay, guys. Now to that really delicate 14 inch serving platter by Johnson Brothers in the old English Belvedere pattern. Here's my repair on it. You can find the repair, but I gotta tell you, because this is so intricate and detailed and tiny, you know, it was right on the end in this group of flowers in this cartouche here. So man, it was tough. Right on the scallop edge with gold. You see that's put back. Now the white, I think, will calm down and cure down a little bit. So I kept it just a little, one click whiter than what it is because it'll mellow over time. A lot of you guys know that about white. By the time this mellows, I think it'll be just an incredible match. So, facing you, the repair is on the right side. And we'll show you the close-up of that. Okay, so I'm happy that it's repaired. I'm not happy that it needed to be repaired and that's on the U.S. Post Office. Nobody else, so what are you gonna do? We just, we try to keep our beautiful vintage art safe, that's all. <laughs> all righty, I know you guys get it and you agree. Now the piece I saved for last is probably the most fun. You remember me telling I was going to redo the turkey. I had a couple of you, even though I pre-said it, that somebody would like it the way it was. And in its own right, it was cute. But it's very dated and particular. Not our style. So for the $7.99, you know, I was going to put my take on it and my twist. So, real happy with Mr. Turkey. <laughs> Here he is. And again, Angel will show a clip of spray painting it outside. First with a, you know, I use a couple of different browns. I like the dark walnut the best and I think I had to use 
a different dark brown. It doesn't matter, and you can even use black. Okay, the idea is for the undercoat, it's got to be dark, okay? And it doesn't matter exact, but it does matter on the next coat, okay? So the dark brown painted the whole turkey. Then I did my gold dab all over two coats with the folk art uh, gold that's in the video, the clip that you'll see. Okay, the last thing I did, and I wanna explain something too that I've learned in the art world and doing things and redoing things, buying and looking, okay? But I don't want to get away from the turkey till we're done. <laughs> a third element is better than only two elements, okay? So the last thing I did was take very lightly with the black testers enamel and took a brush and gave some whimsical swipes real thin and light to give that feathered look okay and you can really see it in his tail feathers okay you can see a little bit on his head maybe by his eye and the back real important to maintain even though he looks like bronze he looks like he has feathers too at the same time okay that's what i wanted out of this and then down in i love this part where the fruit is i actually sprayed a little black before i did the gold okay maybe even after and then you can go over it again if you need to but there you can really see it and then on the front you can see it again deep inside here okay so you have what the big deal is you dimension you need that dimension three-dimensional to look realistic and it looks better so just in this makeover and like I, I like to use the carpet as an example you'll relate to this exactly when I get it out a carpet that has two or three colors in it that's it looks cheap <laughs> it looks like dollar store even if there is such a thing if it is i'll tell you a good carpet five that's where it starts five seven or nine it's just it sounds crazy artistically it's not it's an odd number now the background might be an eighth color i'm not talking about i'm talking about the complementary colors not the background really you'll see in a nice shirt even or it depends on the look you want in your curtains draperies your carpeting really any material if, if there's only two or three colors it looks kind of blank or it's a particular look frankly it's more of a modern look Kind of like my shirt, but there are two reds here and two whites and a cream. So that's five, okay? And that's what I'm talking about when you read, make over something. And this idea, this, this note will help you get a better look. I don't care what you're redoing five is better than three 
normally, depending on the look that you want. Alrighty now, guys, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment, let us know. If you could see a repair or you didn't care about it, or you think it was silly to bother repairing, let me know what you thought. I'm gonna love Mr. Turkey for the fall. <laughs> now, you know, I'm proud of him that I redid him. But I love the piece now. I didn't love the piece before. So that's the big deal. And folks, don't forget to check out that spring and summer line of clothing, coffee mugs, pants, hats, shopping bags. We got it going on. Really good looking stuff too. Check it out in our online store. The link is in the description box. Check it out, you'll love it. Good looking stuff. Alrighty guys, hey, take care now, and you know there's a lot more coming up. We're going to have fun, and you new folks, all you got to do is subscribe and hit that bell, and you're not going to miss any of the fun. Just read the comments, and you can join our wonderful, beautiful people that are on our channel right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks guys, be happy, you deserve it, and we'll see you in the next Off the Chain, Over the Top, Incredible, Informative, Decorator and Collector video.